So, this is a little different opening because I wanted to tell you guys I have some exciting, exciting news. I had the honor to work with Zatman Creative House and they're actually gonna give your girl a full makeover. I'm talking about a whole rebrand, so everything's just gonna be more professional. It's gonna look so legit. I'm so excited. So, I want you guys to see the new intro because I'm so obsessed with it. It literally, it was a whole day thing and it was just, honestly, it was literally the best day of my life because it was just something that I never thought I would ever, ever actually do. And the fact that I did it, like, I don't know, I'm just really, really proud of this project. I want to thank Peter and Felipe. Definitely check them out. I will leave all of their information down below if you guys are into, like, anything. They're really a creative house, so they do anything creative. They do paintings, they do pictures, they do videos, they do everything. So like I said, I'll leave everything down below. And I want you guys to enjoy this new intro. here and I'm coming at you with another look this is my birthday beat so you guys need to get into this because this is what I wore for my birthday and I'm obsessed it's so freaking cute but before we get into the video please subscribe to my channel be a part of the mermaid squad honestly if you join the mermaid squad you're gonna have happiness for the rest of your life because I teach you how to do makeup and I also have vlogs on my channel so you guys need to be a part of the mermaid squad so you can become my little mermaid <laughs> Don't forget to put the little notification bell on so you know whenever I post a new video. If you do like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up so I can keep creating that content for you. And comment down below what you guys think of this look. Was it easy? I want to know if this helped you at all. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below because I'll do more user-friendly videos so you guys can recreate them for yourself. If you guys want to see all my birthday festivities, definitely check out my birthday fleekend vlog. I show you guys everything I did for that weekend. It was a... A hoot? Who the hell? <laughs> I was gonna say it was a hoot, but I don't talk like that, so anyway. <laughs> and without further ado, if you want to see how to get this beat right here, this smoky glitter, just keep watching. <laughs> Sorry to have my eyebrows done. I do have a couple of videos doing my eyebrows, um, so I'm not going to do them on here. So let's get started this look is really really easy it's using about three shadows um for my birthday i was kind of rushed so i wanted to still look cute but do my makeup on the quicker side so i'm just going to prime my eyes with my urban decay eyeshadow primer potion and caffeine you guys already know this is my jam and i brought this up pretty high so it can catch all the shadow. And then I just blend with my finger. So to start, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. The shade I'm going to use is Rustic. I love this palette. I think this and the Modern Renaissance Palette are like my two favorites out of the Anastasia bunch. So I'm gonna take Rustic on a Crown C511 brush, and I'm just going to tap this literally all over my lid and my crease. If you guys saw my dress, I'll pop a picture if you didn't, but my dress was black and it kind of gave you like that clueless vibe because it was 90s night. So I wanted to keep my makeup pretty simple but sexy. And then once the color is all the way on there, I'm just gonna go to the clean side of the brush and blend out the edges. All right, so now that we have this all over the lid and the crease, we're going to use the shade Cypress Umber. And it's just a darker brown shade. It's like a dark chocolate shade. And we're gonna just push this right into the crease just to deepen it up a little bit. So this will give you that definition you need in the outer V and in the crease. Can you see the difference between the two? Like this one has a lot more definition here and this one is just one solid color. Really? I can never film in peace, ever. It's always something. Get your car alarm, sir. Thank you. 
And now just taking a clean blending brush, I'm just going to make sure that everything is blended since we are doing like a smoky eye. I just want to make sure it looks flawless, honey. So the last step that I'm going to do for my eyeshadow is going to the Moon Dust Palette by Urban Decay. And I'm going to grab the shade Lithium. And I just put this all over the lid and the crease just to give it a little pop, you know? So we're actually gonna take that clean fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M513, and I'm just gonna dust it on there. And I didn't spray my brush or anything because I kinda just want it to be dusted on there, nothing too crazy. So whatever angle I turn, you get to see a little bit of shimmer shimmer. Girl, and that was it, that's all I did. <laughs> so I'm gonna take some lashes. You guys already know which lashes I use. I use the same ones all the time. So this is from AliExpress and the number I'm using is E11. So I'm gonna pop these bad boys on and then I'll be right back. All right, so I have my lashes on. I tight lined, I uh, put mascara on and I did liquid liner on the top. So I am using a new eyeliner I wanted to share with you guys because you know I've been having issues with it bleeding out my contacts. So this one actually doesn't do that so I tight lined with it. This is by NARS. This is the high pigment long wear eyeliner and the shade is black. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But yeah, I've been putting this on my waterline and this actually stays. This has been pretty good. My friend actually gave me this one. So once I run out of this guy, I'm going to get another one. I do want to see what other colors they have too because I really like how creamy it is. It has the same formula as Urban Decay. It's just not as creamy so it won't bleed on your contacts. So after all that, <laughs> um, I'm going to be doing my foundation on camera since this look is so easy and it's not going to take too much time. My eyes are already done. So I talked about this primer before. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. I really do like this primer because it's very hydrating but it also still holds your makeup on. And I did just do a mask so my skin is looking so much better. Thank God. It was looking crazy because I was eating like crap. So now it's finally getting back to what it used to be. I just have a lot more acne scars, but it's fine. I'm going to show you guys how I actually cover that now. So I've talked about this uh, red corrector before as well. This is a Stay Naked Pro Customizer by Urban Decay in pure red. So I just put this around my mouth because I have some darkness around there. I actually didn't use it one day and I totally saw a difference. So if you have like hyperpigmentation around your mouth, this is really good for you. So just do little dots. Don't swipe it because it's a lot and you don't want the red to peek through. Trust me, I've had that happen before and it's not cute at all. So be careful. <laughs> so I just do a couple dots around my mouth and under my eye. And then I take this It Cosmetics brush. It's really fluffy and just spreads the red corrector really nicely. So another step that I added to my routine, since I do have um, a lot more acne scars, I just take my concealer. This is Stay Naked Concealer by Urban Decay in the shade 70 NY. And I just kind of cover them before I put my foundation on. So this helps me use less foundation and this actually helps cover it up a little bit more. And then I just take my fingers and then blend it that way. So if you do have acne scars, again, I would definitely recommend this concealer because look, it covered up in like two seconds and I'm actually just using my fingers. My goal for 2020 is to not wear foundation anymore. So I need these acne scars to get it together. So now that that is on, we're gonna jump right into foundation. So this is the Stay Naked Foundation and I use shade 61NN and 70NN. So I just put it on my little Petri dish right here. I mix the colors together and then waste not want not. So I just put <laughs> the rest on my face that I use to mix it with. And then I take my little beauty blender and then just pounce all over my face. It didn't even have to cover that much because we already covered it with the concealer. And I like full coverage, so you can totally just use like one pump. It'll give you more medium coverage, but I like my whole face to be covered in foundation, honey, so. And then if I have extra, I always put it around my mouth so you don't see that red just in case. And then I always switch to the front of the Beauty Blender and kind of just tap it over because sometimes I put way too much, you see? foundation and you don't want it to cake up and I usually cream contour after this but I left it in my house because you guys know I film out in my garage so we're not going back to our house so we're just gonna have to not cream contour today but I have um watched the basics video I have a uh, contour in there so if you want to know how I do cream contour definitely check that out you know I will link it down below and then somewhere up here but now I'm gonna go in with my concealer and this is in the shade 60NN. It's still the Stay Naked Concealer. Just do my little upside down triangle. 
And this is a shade lighter just to add more light to my face. And then I go down my nose, on my forehead, cubics bow, and then my chin. So and then I just take my mini beauty blender and just pounce away. And then I just squeeze the beauty blender like this and just lightly sharpen the edge. And then I go back in with my regular beauty blender I use for my foundation and just kind of blend here. Yes. Okay. So an oldie but a goodie. I'm about to bring y'all back. I've been loving this Ben Nye banana powder. I just decided to like switch it up from what I used to use was the Urban Decay um, powder. But I've been loving this. It just, I don't know, it just sets your under eyes so nicely. So, so the brush I use just to set under here is an eyeshadow brush by Urban Decay. So it's like this big fluffy brush right here. So I just dip it right into the banana powder. All right, so I'm gonna do my little trick. I look up, make sure there's no creasing, and then set it. And then I take this bigger powder brush by Urban and just set the rest of my under eye. And then I go on my nose a little bit, wherever I put the concealer. And for this banana powder, they do have other shades besides yellow, so if you're interested in a good setting powder, I definitely recommend this guy right here. And now I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix powder, oldie, but a goodie again. <laughs> and this just helps cover up any acne scars that I missed. Sets my foundation, especially around my mouth, so you don't see any red. For contour, I'm gonna use my favorite. This is Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Acne Miss Sun. I don't think I'm ever gonna switch bronzers, but I'm just taking this with an angled dual fiber brush and just going back and forth. And this bronzer gives you a nice sun-kissed look under my jaw and then around my forehead. And don't forget the nose. So I'm just using the same brush, it's just a little bit smaller. And then I'll contour my nose. And for the jaw, like you see how you can kind of see the contour, I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just make it blend a little bit more. Now I'm gonna take my Real Techniques setting brush and go right underneath just to make a sharper contour line and then to blend my nose a little bit. And for blush, don't laugh at how crusty it looks. I've been trying to get a new one, but they've been sold out. So this is MAC Gingerly Blush. This is one of their popular blushes. I might have to get this online because I tried to get it in store and it's always sold out. So I've been going around the rim trying to get some powder. So I'm gonna use that with a Becca highlighting brush and just put it right on my apples. Can you imagine if like I just left this like this? <laughs> No. So I'm gonna take that setting brush again and just blend the harsh lines. You see? See what blending does? You see how harsh this is? You don't want that. You want this. This looks better. <laughs> I've been loving this highlighter. This is Laura Mercier Indiscretion. It's so freaking pretty. It's like natural, but you still have a little bit of highlight there. And I'm using that with a Morphe M510 brush. I'm gonna put it on my nose. Oh, you see, it's so freaking pretty, but like it's not too blinding. Put it right on top of my cheekbone and my cubics bow. Sometimes I'll use my finger too. A little on my chin and then right above my brow, a little bit. Taking that Real Techniques brush again, all about blending. All right, so face is done. So you see how quick that was? <laughs> Since we're just going right through this. So now for underneath our eye, we're gonna be using the same colors. We're gonna take Rustic on this Crown C528 brush. And we're just gonna go right underneath just to smoke it out. And for eyeliner, I'm gonna take this Urban Decay 24 seven Glide on Eye Pencil in Demolition. And this is just a chocolate brown, like a dark chocolate brown. And I'm gonna put this as close to my lash line as I can. And this just adds more definition. Now I'm gonna take this little smudger brush right here and just smudge out the eyeliner, just so it looks more blended. And I'm gonna take that NARS pencil and then just put it right in my waterline. All right, so now I'm just going to add my little lash primer. This is the Subversion Urban Decay Lash Primer. So I've been doing this, like I said in my last video, before I do my lips so it can Get tacky especially with a smoky eye you want really long lashes all right so we're going to move on to lips this is my favorite favorite lip so this is dose of color knock on wood this is such a nice nude but first I'm gonna line it with my whiskey liner by urban decay so now I take my liquid lip I'm just gonna put it right in the center see how pretty it is I love dose of color liquid lips too they're not drying at all 
and they go on so nicely. So I'm just gonna blend the two and then go over it one more time with the whiskey. Kind of ombre it. Ooh. Love this lip. You see how pretty it is? And the liner just gives it nice definition. I love this look. So I'm gonna go in with my mascara. This is the Perversion Waterproof by Urban Decay. I'm just gonna put it on the bottom. And just to add a little bit more of the shimmer shimmer, I'm gonna go into that Moon Dust palette again and use Lithium on this little pointer brush, the C527 by Crown. And I'm just gonna put it in the inner corner. I like this palette because it's a really good topper for eyeshadows. This is so pretty. And last but not least, our setting spray. So this is gonna hold on that makeup all night. Mm. I like love this smell now. I didn't like it at first, but now I'm like so used to it. This is my birthday makeup. So I'm gonna do my hair really quick. It's not terrible, but I'm just gonna make it look a little more cute. And then I'll be right back. So this is the completed birthday beat look. I'm obsessed. I freaking love this. I love the sparkles too. Like, I didn't get to really appreciate my birthday makeup because I was rushing. So I did show you guys on my birthday vlog, so you guys requested it. I hope it was pretty easy. It was only using like three shadows. So if you want to work on your smoky eye, this is definitely, definitely a good eye to practice on. Um, so like I said, because it's only using the three shadows. And you don't have to put the glitter on there if you want just a matte smoky eye. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you with smoky eyes. Don't forget to subscribe to all of my social media accounts because I have some different videos on there that you guys should definitely check out. If it's too short for YouTube, I definitely put it on my Instagram. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Be a part of my mermaid squad and I will see you guys in my next video. Hyper, as always. <laughs> Bye guys.